Total Recall. Yeah. Steve Jobs is a 2015 film directed by Danny Boyle. It stars Michael Fassbender as a guy you've most likely heard of, Steve Jobs. And for the three or four people out there who've never heard of the guy, this guy was pretty much the creator of a lot of Apple's most famous products, the iPhone, the iPod, the I don't know what else. This guy was an innovator and a pioneer of a lot of modern technology. So this film, I was expecting a biopic. I was expecting something that, you know, explored the guy's life and how he did what he did, that kind of stuff. And what I got was something completely different. Now this film focuses on three periods in Steve Jobs' life. 1984, 1988, and 1998. And each act of the film takes place backstage at a product launch. And the film isn't so much a story about what Steve Jobs did in his life. This film is is purely a movie about who the man was. Now the film was written by Aaron Sorkin who is renowned for focusing on heavy dialogue and this movie man it could be a stage play realistically it was so dialogue heavy but it was really interesting this movie gets inside the brain of Steve Jobs and explains why the guy was a complete douche to a lot of people. The film not only explores Steve's involvement with Apple and you do get to see a little bit of of the, you know, creation of some of the products, that kind of stuff. But it also focuses heavily on things that happen in his life, such as his daughter, who he's not entirely sure if he wants to admit that she's his daughter. So we as an audience are kind of left with a bit of ambiguity as to whether or not she is. She totally is. Michael Fassbender in the title role of Steve Jobs, his performance was exemplary. He really became the character. I mean, he looked like him and from what I know about Steve Jobs, he really acted like him as well. Backed up by an excellent supporting cast, including Seth Rogen and Jeff Daniels, I think the standout for me was Kate Winslet, who to be honest, I didn't even recognize when she was first on screen. Kate played an assistant to Steve Jobs named Joanna Hoffman, who was there for pretty much his entire career and my god everything about her from her appearance to her accent she really acted the hell out of this character and did an amazing job i loved every minute that she was on screen but the true star of the show is danny boyle's direction now danny boyle is one of those directors who i absolutely love because if you watched one of his films and it didn't have his name attached to the start, you would know it's a Danny Boyle film. This guy has his own unique style that is his watermark and this film, it it did have his signature style to it, but he kind of reined it back a little bit, I think. And it was such a joy to watch. Everything from the cinematography to the editing, the camera angles, things like that. And there was something else that I absolutely adored, which they did. Each time period was shot on a particular format of film. You had the 1984 stuff was shot on 16 millimeter, the 1988 stuff was shot on 35 millimeter, and then the late 90s stuff was shot on digital. And aside from looking like a film that was produced in that time period, it also complemented the advancement in technology that was portrayed in the film throughout the style of the film as well. So it was something that I absolutely loved watching. So Steve Jobs is definitely a film worth checking out if you haven't seen it already. Like I said, just be aware that it's a very dialogue heavy film. So if you're not a fan of a lot of people talking, you might not like it as much as I did. But for me, it was a really engrossing experience and just something a little different. You know, like I said, it was very much a trip inside this guy's head to explain why he made the choices that he did and why he was who he was. And I am going to give Steve Jobs an 8 out of 10. So a big thank you to my friend Steve Kirkham for recommending this film and requesting that I do a review of it. I was meaning to see it, but it was just one of those films I hadn't gotten around to checking out. So thanks for giving me that little push to check it out. I definitely enjoyed it a lot. And in the meantime, if you've seen Steve Jobs, not the Ashton Kutcher one, but the Michael Fassbender one, let me know what you thought of it. Drop me some comments either here or on Facebook. All the social media links are down in the description below because I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you. See you soon. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nyaa!